Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter one, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So all we're doing for these guys is following along. So five times six, that's going to be 30, okay? Five times six times 10 to the first, which means we're adding a zero, okay? So we have our 30, that's gonna be our base for all of these. 30 is our base for all of these. Okay, the exponents are going to tell us how many zeros we have to add. Okay, so this one we're going to add one zero. This one we're going to add two. This one we're going to add three. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's do number three. Three times what is 27? Well, this already tells you right here. So three times nine is 27. Okay, so now 27 is going to be our base for all of these. Okay, the exponent is going to tell us how many zeros we need to add. We have one zero, two zeros, and three zeros. Okay, you guys go ahead and do four through six. We are going to go down to number seven and see what's going on. It says two times nine times ten to the second. So we're going to use mental math, find a pattern to find the product. So 2 times 9 is 18. That exponent right there is a 2, so we're going to add two zeros. Okay? Doing the exact same thing. 8 times 7 is 56. That 2 tells us to add two zeros. Okay? 9 times 6 is 54. This exponent tells us to add three zeros. Okay, you guys go ahead and do through number 15. Don't get confused if you wind up, which it doesn't look like we do on this one, but don't get confused if you wind up having like five times six where the answer is 30, kind of like up here where the answer is 30, but we have, still have to add a zero to the end for that exponent, okay? Don't confuse the zero and 30 for the zero in the final answer, okay? so. The Florida Everglades welcomes about 2 times 3, 10 to the 3rd visitors per day. Based on this, about how many visitors come to the Everglades per week, okay? So that, we're going to have our 2, but we're going to multiply that times 7, and then times 10 to the 3rd, okay? So we still have our 2, our 10 to the 3rd, and then in a week, that's our 7. That's our 7 days in a week, okay? So 2 times 7 is 14, and then our exponent tells us to add three zeros. So 14,000 visitors, okay? We're going to go to number 17 over here. It says the average person loses about 8 times 10 to the 1 strands of hair each day. How many strands of hair would the average person lose in 9 days? So now we're going to have 8 times 9 times 10 to the first, okay? Well, eight times nine is 72, and then 10 to the first tells us we need to add one zero to the end, so 720 hairs, okay? We're gonna go over onto the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, okay? This is one of those ones where you gotta check that extra zero because you still have to add three zeros after you get this answer, okay? All right, spiral review. Hayden rolls six, sorry, Hayden has six rolls of dimes. There are 50 dimes in each roll. How many dimes does he have all together? So we have six, we have 50, okay? So 50 times six, six times zero is zero. Six times five is 30, 300 dimes, okay? Number four, an adult ticket to the zoo costs $20 and a child's ticket costs $10. How much will it cost for Mr. and Mrs. Brown and their four children? Okay, so there are two adults, Mr. and Mrs. Brown, and each one of those is $20. Plus, they have four children and those are each $10. Okay, so now two times 20, <coughs> is 40. <coughs> Sorry guys. And 4 times 10 is another 40. 40 and 40 
$80. <coughs> okay. At a museum, a hundred posters are displayed in each of four rooms. All together, how many posters are displayed? Well, four times 100 equals 400 posters. Go. Okay. A store sells a gallon of milk for $3. A baker buys 30 gallons of milk for his bakery. How much will he have to pay? 30 gallons, $3 each. Multiply three times zero is zero, and three times three is nine. It's going to be $90. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 1.5. Come on back for 1.6. See you soon.